five, four, three, two, one. Action! Well, good afternoon, huggers. Um, so, starting off with this lot. This is the soprano ukulele. This is a concert ukulele. And this is a tenor ukulele, which is a bargain at the, half the price. Now they're tuned G, C, E, A. G, C, E, A. G, C, E, A. They're all tuned exactly the same. In fact, the only difference is their size. So you can see that's the little one, that's a bit bigger, and that's a bit bigger. And the important size is the distance between this bit, which is called the nut, and this, which is called, well, the wooden bit is called the bridge, and the bit of plastic is called the saddle. So that's called the scale length, and the scale length, as you can see, gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But nevertheless, they are all G, C, E, A. And the only real difference is the tone. They get more plinky plonk as they get smaller. So let's let's do a. I hope you can hear that the tone gets more mellow as the body of the instrument gets bigger. But essentially, they're, they're the same. Uh, the strings are different because they're different tensions. To reach the same pitch. So you buy a special set of strings for a soprano, a different set of strings for a concert, a different set of strings for a tenor, which is another bargain, half the price. <laughs> now the one on the end is the one that is really different. This is a baritone ukulele. A baritone ukulele is very different from the other three in that the tuning of it is completely different. So let's have a listen to that. Completely different. The baritone you got really has got two main differences. One is the the pitch of the instrument, so it's much lower down, but it's actually like a guitar. The tuning of the instrument is different. Um, it's uh, D, G, B, E. D, G, B, E. The same as the top four strings of the guitar. And unlike these strings, where this, the one at this end, the, nearest, the one that's nearest to your face, is a high string, it's got a higher pitch. It goes up at, towards the end. This one goes down at the end. So the low, the low, this note is actually lower than all the rest. On these, it's nearly the, nearly the same as the, the outside one. So. mellow sound and I like to have well, I like to have one of each they all sound very similar and these are these are best for singing and the guitar one is best for finger style like I just played let's do some strumming on here in fact I think I can probably do some strumming here And that way you can actually see me through what I'm doing. That's a bit awkward, that. That's I'm not sure if I can turn that down or not. Right. Plinky plonk, very very much a ukulele sound. This little one, it's not a very good one this one, but this this ukulele 
which is a soprano. This is, when people say ukulele, they normally mean this size. This is very close to my heart because I was given this by my friends on my 21st birthday. So it's, it's older than 10 years. Quite a bit. You can get bigger ones than the baritone, you can actually get the sopranino, which is even smaller than this one. And of course, you can get a lapel badge, haha. -ha. Um, but these are the main four ukuleles. And between these ones, you just buy the one that you like the sound of best and you like the one that you can hold the easiest. As far as the baritone concerns, it's a question of what you like playing. If you're a guitar player, I think you'd, you'd, you'd be attracted to this one because the chords are in the same place and the same pitch as on a guitar. If, if any of you play the guitar, you'll know that this is a D chord. And on this instrument, it's a D chord. It sounds like jingle bells. Get in there. Now, in my next video, I'm going to show you uh, how you can have these strung in different, complete, in completely different ways to get different sounds. So you can string them with a low G. This is a high G, but you can string it with a low G. And if you're doing finger picking or doing tunes. Um, Arch, I'll play you a tune to, just to give you an example. Uh, then you'd want to do the low G. Let me show you. Let me show you uh, an example. Let me give, no, let's do it on. Let me do you an example. I can play it on this one, and it won't sound very good on them because they're high G. Um, yeah, let's think how's it go. in order to make, to be able to play that properly. So we'll look at them in again. All right, I hope that's helpful. A bit long-winded, I know, but there you go. Right. Over and out. <laughs>